Last time value of money example we're going to do with our TI-83 or TI-84 calculator is effective annual interest rates. The idea of effective annual interest rates is that sometimes we have different compounding periods and we know the more frequently we compound the better off we are. So would we be better off earning 7% compounded semi-annually or 6.85% compounded weekly? Now weekly compounding is better. The more frequently the compounding, the better off we are. But in order to get that more frequent compounding, we have to take a lower nominal rate. The stated or nominal rate on the weekly compounding is a little bit lower. So we can solve that with a formula or we can go to our financial calculator. Now if you want to use the financial calculator for the TI-83 or TI-84, it's very simple to do that just want to go into again the applications choose the finance app go down until you see the effective application now all it shows you here is EFF and then gives you an open bracket in order to solve for the effective interest rate using the TI-83 or TI-84 what we want to do is put in our nominal rate and then the compounding periods per year. So in our example here, our nominal rate for the first one is 7% and it's compounded semi-annually which means two times per year. In our second situation our nominal rate is 6.85 percent and now it's compounded weekly weekly is 52 periods per year so now we can just figure out our effective annual interest rate for both of those whichever higher whichever one is higher is the better savings plan so we start out with the effective rate 7 percent use our comma two compounding periods per year we can go ahead and close out that bracket and now we want to solve solve is shift solve and we get an effective annual rate of 7.125 percent or 7.1225 What this is telling us is that 7% compounded semi-annually is the same as earning 7.1225% compounded annually. The effective interest rate just converts everything to its annual compounding equivalent. So now we want to do that again with 6.85% compounded 52 times a year. So we just want to go to our apps again, choose finance, go down to the effective screen, select that, and now we want to plug in our 6.85% in 52 periods per year. And solve. and we get an effective interest rate of 7.085 percent. We can see these are both very close but we're a little bit better off at 7 percent compounded semi-annually compared to 6.85 percent compounded weekly. The more frequent compounding is not enough to offset the little bit lower nominal interest rate that we're earning. That's all there is to effective annual rates using your TI-83 or TI-84 calculator.